Hello and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course, offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on iOS device maintenance. This lesson focuses on network monitoring. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss the requirements for Telnet and SSH, state the components of SNMP and their functions, explain the different versions of SNMP, discuss vSPAN and RSPAN interfaces. Let us start our discussion by understanding remote access methods. The two most common remote access methods are Telnet and Secure Shell Protocol, SSH. Telnet is the default method for VTY lines. However, it is not encrypted. SSH is encrypted. Hence, Cisco recommends using SSH whenever possible. In the next slide, let us discuss the requirements for Telnet on the target device. The target device must be configured with one of the three authentication methods. The first method is configuring a password on the VTY line. The second method is local database authentication. The third method is server authentication. For example, RADIUS can be configured. An Enable Secret Password must also be set on the target devices, else access will be denied to the privileged mode on the target device. You can have parallel Telnet sessions. To suspend a Telnet session, enter commands on the source and return to the target by typing the Resume command or the Enter key. The Show Sessions or Where command can be used to show the present and suspended sessions. The Disconnect command is used to disconnect a Telnet session. By starting a Telnet connection on each subsequent device, you can hop to the next device in a chain of attached devices. In the next slide, let us focus on requirements for the SSH.